So an object is launched at 19.6 meters per second from a 58.8 meter tall platform. The equation for the object's height, S, at time t seconds after launch is S of t. What kind of, what kind of function is this? It's a position function is what this is. S of t is almost always a position function. So S of t is equal to negative, negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t plus 58.8, where S is in meters. When does the object strike the ground? So how do we set this up? This is actually just algebra, isn't it? So what does this algebra look like? S of t is position. What position do we want? Yeah, we want the position where it hits the ground, and that position is zero. So we'll say zero is equal to negative 4.9t squared plus 19.6t plus 58.8. Do you wonder why they got these crazy numbers? Why did they? Because negative 4.9 is a factor of all this crap, isn't it? T squared minus what? Four? T plus, did anybody do this math? Say it again. Minus 12 here? Oh, 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 I see why you did that. You're right. Minus 12, nice job, son. Minus 12, really good job, thank you, appreciate it. And now what? This thing factors really well, doesn't it? So T minus and then T plus, right? Two numbers, when we multiply them, we get 12. When we add them, we get negative 4. Is it 6, negative 6 and positive 2? Is that, seriously, is that good math? Yeah. Elsa, thank you. What does this tell us? What does this tell us? T equals 6. So what happens in 6 seconds? It hits the ground. What happens at T equals negative 2? Right, time can't be negative. It's irrelevant, isn't it? So we're going to strike this answer. It's going to think our way through that. So 6 seconds after that missile is launched. The pudding missile, right? Because we're not going to hurt anybody. Right. Maybe uh, Mr. Next Door, we can like launch flowers and stuff. Possibly. For our, for our ecology instructor, right? Excuse me, somebody seems to have shot a weeping willow over the fence. Right. Okay, good job, you guys. Thanks. That's why they call it a weeping willow, because it hurts.